Hey everyone, and now we're gonna talk about everything that you should do during PSA negotiations. So you're gonna reach out to your lender and ask about timelines and immediate next steps. This is really important just so that you can try to plan as much as possible. You're also gonna engage with your lender to get a quote matrix so that they can start to size up the loan of the asset for you. And then if given early access, try to involve as many vendors as possible so that you can perform that pre-due diligence to identify any areas of negotiation. And this is just really important because a seller could say that their roof is only two to three years old, but really if you get a roofer up there, they're like, hey guys, this roof needs to be repaired immediately, right? Like it's 20 years old, it is not two to three years old. And this just gives you some area and some room for negotiation. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is ask your broker to compile a list for you. So what's included in that is current sales comps, rental comps, key employers, occupancy trends, the rental market trends, and then anything else you may need to build your investment summary, right? Your investment summary is what is going to make you shine to those passive investors. So the more information you have, the better it will be for you. So another thing that you're gonna to wanna to get from your broker is any videos that were potentially made for the OM or for the selling. And something that is really cool about that is that it'll be an aerial view and it'll show all of the restaurants and employers that are around in that building, like all the great entertainment that's in that city. So definitely repurpose any videos whenever you can. Absolutely. And next you wanna do is, is engage with your SEC attorney to really prime them to say, hey, we have a deal. You're most likely we're gonna syndicate it. Um, just to go ahead and get your SEC attorney ready, uh, ready to go with the documentation. Um, next, this is a really difficult and very touchy subject, but you need to determine the GP split sooner rather than later. And so what that involves is determining the GP promote, which is the equity everybody has in the deal, how the acquisition fee is going to be split, and how the asset management fees are going to be split up as well. Who's asset managing and how they're going to get compensated for that. Next, you want to work to get in your investor portal set up and ready for your investors. This can take quite a long time and that's why I have it here um, that you're doing it during PSA negotiation. If you're negotiating a PSA, you're most likely going to get it on a contract. And so you want to go in and get everything kind of set up and ready to go when you hit the, so you can hit the ground running. Next, you want to, you know, Get the lender insurance requirements and then send those to the insurance broker so that the insurance broker, as he's sizing up uh, the property and trying to reach out and get quotes and things like that, um, they have the requirements from the lender in order to do so. And then next you want to have a kickoff meeting with your, <laughs> with your property management company uh, to discuss your due diligence walkthrough. So you're going to have a plan, like who's going to be there, how long it's going to take, who's using, who's walking what units, et cetera, and things like that. And then finally, upon PSA execution, you want to send out the investment opportunity highlights, just the highlights. You know, your, your underwriting is not complete yet, but you want to send out the highlights in order to rouse your investor's interest, right? Mm -hmm. And then once the PSA is signed or executed, you want to make sure that you draft an official letter and sign it and send it to the seller through the broker, of course, stating that you received all the due diligence documents and you can begin the due diligence period. So that wraps up everything um, that you need to do during PSA negotiation. And next, let's move into due diligence phase.